um, a freeware version of the server source code called Community Edition was released back in 2018, but apparently the game never left alpha. Yeah. But so. if it is the one which I'm thinking it is, it's the one which, uh, instead of using, you know, motion inputs, it, you just have buttons attached to certain uh, moves that are on a cooldown basis. Yeah. So it was trying to construct a fighting game that was far more accessible than, uh, say, your Street Fighters. So that's an interesting title to show up. But then again, best fighting game is one of those... Uh, has been a, a bit of an anemic thing for many years. Ah. Okay. I have, I, I'm seeing a category that I, I feel like we can talk about some more. Okay. I, I have thoughts about the best mobile handheld game category. Ah. Uh. Uh, yeah, that's, that's an interesting is, one. It handheld is probably going to be going away because it's now being just replaced with best mobile game, which I think is is fair. But I'm, I mean, looking at that list, for for me, well, let's Fall, face Fallout it, Shelter if the is the only one counted as a handheld system. Uh, could win a lot of awards. Yeah. I feel Fallout Shelter is the is the the one shining light in that one. I mean, David, you can probably tell me if Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate it also works out well. I'll take your word on that one, but for me, the only one that really shines there is Fallout Shelter. Well, considering that like Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate introduced a lot of good mechanics and but I would say that technically compared to the last game in that style, which would be Monster Hunter uh, generations it's not as polished as generations was generations really gave a lot more stuff to the old style monster hunter games mm -hmm. and as of right now i'm not going to say anything about monster hunter rise because monster hunter rise seems to be following the similar concept behind a uh, world but trying to incorporate some of the older game stuff as well into it. Um, because of fact, it sounds like there's a possibility that the return of the style system that 4 and Generations did is going to make a return and rise. Uh, not going to go too deep into it, but a lot of people like the style system because a this, uh, instead of playing stock standard guild style which is what mo uh, has been the standard of playing Monster Hunter for for like most of the series introduced uh, other aspects like the fact that you have the aerial style which allows a lot more jumping about jumping onto monsters type of combat depending on the weapon and stuff 